What was the last lie you told? When was it? How do you feel when you tell lies? Is it okay to tell lies? Truthfulness. Truthfulness is about accepting, understanding, and presenting any truth. Today's world is filled with lies, making it challenging for people to maintain their integrity. Instead of being proud of who we are, we want to appear impressive to others. Being honest improves your character and makes you a better member of the human race. It is better to express the truth and follow the lie than to not be honest at all. You will lose credibility and people's trust if you are dishonest. An honest individual doesn't have to be concerned about the truth coming out. Living in such a way is peaceful and pure. Good day! Welcome to the podcast of the City of San Fernando Tech Book Senior High School entitled Speaks for the Truth. Have you ever lied to fit in? Did it help you fit in? If not, what happened? Let us listen to our guest, Mrs. Joy and his son, Peter, a student of the City of San Fernando Tech Book Senior High School. Let's welcome them. Welcome to our live podcast. How are you? I am doing well. Thank you for inviting us here. Can you please share to us your experiences in your school? I am a grade 11 student in City of San Fernando de Apo, Senior High School. Yes, I am dishonest, a great pretender, and a liar. I pretended to everyone that we are living in a complete happy family. I pretended that my mother is a dietitian and my father is a businessman. I pretended that we are living in a two-story house, even told them that we have a car. The way I dress up tells everything that I see is real. I get a lot of friends, but in fact, those are just lies, until my mother heard it from someone. What did you feel when you heard anything about your son is unreal, Mrs. Joy? It hurts hearing the lies coming from other people. That's why I took the chance to ask him if that hearsay is true. And yes, he admitted everything and cried. I get mad and asked him why he need to say those things. I guess he's just afraid that to have friends and afraid that to be accepted. You know what? He smiled when I told him these lies. You can hide who you are. It will only cause you pain. Live the beautiful, authentic truth inside your heart. Because I know that you are a good person. Haters will hate no matter what you choose to do. What have you learned from it and what message can you share with students who are experiencing this situation? The truth is, life is not perfect. It never has been and will never be. Me. But this can be a good news. It means we can stop pursuing the mystical, perfect life. It means we can stop chasing perfect skill, the perfect job, the perfect house, or the perfect spouse. It means we can find freedom to live within our imperfections. In fact, the sooner we realize that perfection is not available to us in this world, the sooner we can begin living better lives because of the imperfections. Consider what the ongoing presence of our imperfection means. Always be true to yourself and to others and that all that matters. Let me say this again. No, I am not dishonest. I am not a great pretender. I am not a liar because I've changed. I told him that if those people are real and true, they will accept who you really are, regardless of your status in life. Don't forget and always remember, as truthfulness is a great virtue. Truthfulness is a great voice. A liar is hated by all. Nobody believes him. He may gain success for a short time, but in the long run, he is bound to suffer. Nobody helps a liar. Nobody gives him any responsible work. He cannot shine in business. 
If a merchant or a shopkeeper tells a lie, people will not deal with him anymore. A liar does not lead a peaceful life. He is always afraid of being found out. He knows that he is not doing a good thing by telling a lie. We all know the story of the shepherd boy. He used to tell a lie. As a result, he met his death for it. I agree, Mo. I hope you learned something this day. Again, I'm John Peter Rodescar. And I am Joy Rake. From City of San Fernando Tech Vox Senior High School. And this is Be Up. God bless everyone.